out here today it was, it was uh it was actually a good wind day it was getting ready to uh winds have been you know 20 miles an hour it's just april is is, is a windy month so i'm out here with my uh patreon and friend uh jim sturch and um the uh, match the hatch is these little ghost shrimp you know those ones are probably about an inch long and um, they're everywhere there's and, and it, was, it was actually kind of a hard thing to figure out uh, had I had an idea that was what's going on anyway so ended up switching to gulp um, working drop-offs and channels very slow and um, it seems to be paying off for us a uh, bunch of fish caught a bunch of flounder uh, a few redfish uh, but all undersized but great day good friends so hope you enjoy the show let's go fishing something in there. Look at that blue tail. Isn't that beautiful? Hold on buddy. Try not to keep you cross-eyed here. Let's 
sure is a pretty tail. bad. So as you know, I'm, I'm a lure fisherman. I typically use lures, very rare that I use bait. But I will keep a jar of gulp. And um, on tough days, I'm gonna pull out that gulp. Okay, something that I wanted to show you, I'm going to pause it here. And what I wanted to show you is how to kind of get an idea where maybe a drop off is. Um, in this case, you can see the flow of the current right here. Okay. It's coming in. This could be, this could be any kind of a, a flow in any, in anything. Okay. What happens is, I mean, you know, grade school, the water will carve out mountains, you know, 
And basically, that's what's happening here. So the drop off is actually so kind of here, and then it drops off here, and then it flows, then it's shallow here. So there is a drop off in this whole section here. So there's like a, you think about like a tunnel that kind of grow that kind of goes into here. So, um, and then um, when the other thing you can see is it's a lighter color in this area here, in this pathway here. And then it's lighter color here and it's dark all in here. So this is a deeper area. So all the fish are going to be waiting in this area. Okay. So that's what you want to kind of do. So what I typically will do is I'll throw up here to the bank and then it's a quick drop off and just kind of slow it down and let it and bounce it off the bottom. So I let it touch the bottom and I lift it up and you can go faster, slower, preferably, you know, you want to give them a chance to see it and, um, you know, give a chance to see it so they can take a bite out of it. Get a, trout. Uh, a little rat red. Oh. You want to go? Yeah. When all else fails. Got a rock. <laughs> yeah. The clam actually or oyster. Oh, it's a I think it's an oyster. Dead oyster. I said it's a dead oyster. Put up a good fight though. This is the savannah. If there's one, there's usually more. I said, if there's one, there's usually more. Just park, anchor right there. All right, let's see if it'll make. I don't know. Be close. Size for flounder is 15.
Oh, that's a big one. I think that's a red fish. Yeah, that's got some weight to it. Another red, I think. Yeah. You see the dark area? Out here? Yeah. There's light. It's light, like from where you're at. Yeah. And then it gets a little dark. The dark starts about 15 feet. Yes. Okay. That's the little channel there. So we're hit. We're we're throwing it to the other side and dropping it off into the hole. And that's what you look for when you're some like out in the bay or something like that. Any of the little channels, the drop offs. that time another oh I think this one might be 15 <laughs> there we go there we go all right Yeah, but you're getting a feel now. That's what, that's what counts. Okay. Oh, yeah. You catch the little ones, you catch the big ones. This uh, paddle tail is a piece of like the Z-Man material. So if you have a gulp, if you're using a gulp, preferably the Z-Man material because it's more stretchy. Hook it on after you put your gulp on. Hook it on there. A little piece of the tail, a little ring, and then. Cut the rest off. It's going to act like a retainer. So you act like a retainer. So the problem I was having is the flounder are biting it off, but this little thing will hold it in place. This is what all these fish are hitting. There's a little shrimp, a little hatchling shrimp.
but it's another red. So, it's a catch and release kind of day. Whether we like it or not. About 18, 19. Hold on, buddy. Lips stuck in there. Beat up, ain't ya? All right, come on now. 